Hey, what's up, everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. It's good to have you. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be showing you my gag group with rod and reel combo for fishing off the Skyway Pier Part 2. There's a change in the rod and reel combo. I actually got a new reel. It's a uh, Shimano Saragossa 10,000 PG. PG stands for power gear. So when you're targeting gag group off the Skyway Pier, you want something with low gear so you can really crank down on the uh, on the reel and get that gag grouper off the off the rocks. Some of you guys probably thinking having a reel with high gear is the way to go. No, it's actually slower. I don't. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but high gear, you actually gain more line faster. But you're not gonna be able to spin it as fast as the power gear. You can turn the handle effortlessly. So that's why I went with the power gear because all you really have when you hook onto a gag grouper is a few seconds because if you don't turn their head you're getting rocked up and I don't want to risk that chance. I could have went with the conventional setup but I just love spinning gear so much so I just bought another another spinning reel but this one's a 10,000 size reel. This is good for tarpon fishing, kingfish. You can do a lot with this reel. I have not broken in this reel yet. I spooled it with 50 pound Andy Black Braid, got like 300 yards of it, and it's just been sitting at the house collecting dust because I've been busy targeting Pompano, you know, because it's that season of the year. I don't know about you guys. When I target something, I'll just keep going for that species for days and weeks and even months. I feel like I gotta break the habit. I might go out snook fishing tonight. You guys might see a snook fishing video in a couple weeks. Hopefully everything goes well. But anyways, let's cover the rod. We're gonna carry it away. Let's go over the rod. This rod right here is a Shimano Therese 7.8, 50 to 100 pound class. I bought this rod way back in 2016. No, back in 2015 at Boaters Republic. Back then I was into shark fishing and I've actually caught black tip sharks with this and even sawfish. I actually caught a 10 foot sawfish. Check this out. That's a six ounce pyramid sinker right there. So. You can kind of see how big that sawfish is. Caught that sawfish back in 2017. I had a crowd going, it was at Madeira Beach. They are extremely rare, and I probably won't catch that ever again in this lifetime. All right, I'm getting carried away now. Let's get back to talking about the rod and reel combo for Skybay Gag Grouper fishing. So the main thing is to have a heavy enough rod and reel combo. It could be a conventional combo or a heavy, a heavy duty rod and reel combo like this right here. You don't have to go out there and get the same exact rod and reel combo as me. There are a lot of good selections out there nowadays. Penn makes some good ones. Star Rods, St. Croix Mojo Salt Series are good. The 40 to 65 pound class, that should be able to do it. Pair that up with like an 8,000 size reel or a 10,000 size reel. 50 pound braid or a 65 pound braid, you should be good to go. Always run heavy leader, guys. 80 pound leader at least. I know in my past videos of Skyway Gag Grouper fishing, I was running 60. That's a little bit light, but I feel like I get more bites with the 60 pound leader. I don't know, so I just I just stick to the to the 60. But 60 or 80 is what I would recommend. Sometimes I'll go up to 100, but it, it's rare. I, I, I like to go light. I know some of you guys are probably saying, man, they'll still hit a 100 pound leader and 120 pound leader. That is true, when they're feeding, they will they will bite. I, I just feel like you get more strikes with the lighter leader. All right guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys find this video helpful, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.